Every now and then I am surprised by the performance of a device and I like it. I like a nice pleasant surprise where I'm like this thing is a lot better than I was thinking. A really good example is ball vapes. I'd kind of written off flower vapes in general because I was like you know what these things don't give you good nice big hits and that's what I want. I want a big hit and that helps me get high. Well another example is like a Puffco. I think before the original Puffco I'd seen it around. I'd seen a lot of people talking about it and I used e-nails a lot and I was like what do I need a Puffco for? I got like the desktop version that just plugs into the wall. I'm, I'm not really going to need this cordless wireless device. And then eventually I tried one. And after like a few consistent hits on it, a few consistent cordless hits, I was like, geez, this thing's dope. And I can just walk into the other room while I'm hitting it if I want. Oh, all right, that's pretty cool. Well, last night on my Twitch stream, I unboxed something that I didn't think that I was going to really like. And after a few hits on it, I was like, oh, my God, this thing's way better than I thought introducing the wireless or cordless ball vape. Here we've got the Terp Hammer by Old Head. If you saw my video on the Dab Ready, the little device that heats up a banger for you, well now it heats up a wireless ball vape. This thing is really just a piece of metal filled with ruby Terp pearls and it has a wooden handle. Nothing crazy going on here. It works with the Dab Ready, which is this device right here that you use to heat like a quartz banger. Well now you can use it to heat a ball vape, it's it's a wireless one of these. Follow my Twitch stream, I do a sesh every night at 9 p.m. Eastern, but you get a first look at any of the devices that I open. We can't do a whole lot here because YouTube is weird, so if you wanna see this in action, I'm gonna upload a full sesh to that green video website. Check out my link tree, I'll put it in the description. There's also a Puffco giveaway there you can check out, but check out the 420 videos that I upload, and I'll also put a link for this in my Twitch chat and Discord if you just type exclamation terp or exclamation hammer. But after a few hits on my Twitch stream last night, I was like, this thing is way better than I thought. My initial thought about this before I used it was like, oh no, it's wireless. It's going to start losing heat the second I pull it off and it's not going to have enough heat for when I hit my flower. It has enough heat. It had plenty of heat. It had more than I thought. It doesn't actually take that long to vape the flower. When you're using a ball vape, you put it on the flower bowl. You're not pulling for that long. It's not as long as a dab. So when I pop this off nice and hot, put it on my flower bowl, I pull for 20 seconds. It's still hot enough to keep going, right? Usually after you pull, you kind of take the head off. And then you stir your bowl a little bit to move that flour around so you can get a better hit on the next go. That's what you do. You just rack it and then you put it back on your bowl. I think it's hot enough if you don't re-rack it. I mean, I'm reapplying heat when I put it on here in between. But I had the multiple like monstrous hits with this thing. And it's so like easy to use. The thing about these is it's like big and clunky. And bro, I don't have this big cord swinging around. I don't, I'm not knocking anything over. I can't tell you how many times I've just like pulled the cord over to take a hit and then I knocked over like something right next to it. It's like, oh geez, I gotta watch where the stuff is on my desk. Well, I, I don't really have to do it as much with this. It just adds a whole extra layer of convenience of, oh, I'm not gonna be knocking stuff over with a cord and I don't have to be plugged in. So I'm actually very stoked on this. When I was first getting into ball vapes, I was like, first off, they should be called hammer vapes because it's the shape of a hammer and ball vape sounds stupid. Well, we've got the hammer here and now we've got the wireless one, which is really where I was hoping this would head, right? We got a nice wireless one. I didn't quite see it like this. This gives me hope though. I think in the future, somebody's going to master the ability to make like coil devices or something. And you're just going to have a cordless one of these that you hit a button and it like it heats up the whole inside and you can get like instant hits. Cause this does take like a few minutes to heat up this little coil here that heats up bangers. will heat one up in like 90 seconds if you're doing a dab. And the cool thing about it is you could just leave the banger there. You just, you leave it there. It heats up in 90 seconds or so. But if you don't want to do your dab for 10 minutes, you just leave it there for 10 minutes and it'll be ready in 10 minutes. It's called the dab ready. Well, it takes like three or four minutes to heat up the flower head. And again, like I was saying, the flower vape hits aren't as long as like a nice long dab. This gives plenty of heat. That was like my initial concern. I was like, there's no way that as soon as I start pulling on it and the room temperature air goes to the head and it's not plugged in, there's no way it's going to maintain the heat. It does. Uh, I, I don't know what I was thinking. There's actually a lot of heat in this thing. I feel like the hits on I was getting are like really, really good. It, it wasn't like smaller than I would normally get. It, I, I don't I don't know if I'm, I don't know. It, it seemed like it was slightly bigger. I don't know how it would be 
but it seemed like it was slightly bigger than like my typical corded hit. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. It seemed like it was doing the job. You'll see in that sesh video. I'm, I'm going to right after we record this, we're just going to go do a nice sesh over on that green side. So come get high with me there. Come get high with me on Twitch. The sesh is every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you want to see more info on the dab ready and how it works, check out this video right here. I go into a little bit of detail about it.